Well, it's safe to say the amount of lying and gaslighting in the media is getting worse and worse by the week. Absolutely crazy. We are in some type of crazy dystopia at this point. Last week, Vegan Fridays became a thing. And then the very next day, the mayor was put under fire for not actually being vegan as he eats fish in restaurants. This is just another blatant example about what I'm trying to show you guys. Everything in the media is a lie. They lie about every single thing and once in a while they point out the lies just to reveal some truth that's typically trivial so you don't question everything else you've been told your entire life. Next up, this clown is creating plant-based eating clinics in all five boroughs of Manhattan, a chronic disease management program that focuses on diet, exercise, and lifestyle factors rather than medication. Uh, let me translate what this snake is saying. You will be poisoned and sick from the lack of animal protein as opposed to being pumped full of medication, most likely a combination of both. And keep in mind, these mayors, politicians, people in the public spotlight are just the fall guys. You know, you're supposed to direct your animosity towards them instead of realizing who's behind the scenes. So on to something you probably didn't hear about. However, many others noticed. Fuel mileage in cars getting worse. A mechanic shop being bombarded with complaints of low gas mileage. And again, many people who track their mileage every day noticing the same thing. These scumbags in charge really want to pull people apart every way possible. Messing with natural resources everyone needs, reducing the average person's purchasing power, fear-mongering empty food shelves, watering down gas. They've always done evil stuff like fry people with radiation, pour fluoride in the water, the Canadian trucker strike is actually in the Illuminati card game from the 90s, which might very well be the false flag event they use to stage a real food shortage. The nonsense gets worse and worse. I'm not going into specific articles, but the media is trying to portray that there is an increase in heart attacks. Some of these are somewhat believable, others are downright ridiculous. You know, shoveling snow and medications is passable to the average boomer, but when you start saying things like loneliness and high energy bills increase heart disease, you wonder how brainwashed the average person is. You know, and if picking up a snow shovel for 20 minutes or taking an over-the-counter drug is going to give you a heart attack, like, one, there's something heavily wrong with your diet and lifestyle that the media is not telling you, and two, that over-the-counter drug should not be over-the-counter. The lunatics telling us what to do have to reveal truth in some capacity through natural law. But when they tell you 99 lies and one truth, regardless of how blatantly they tell you the truth, and, and I've seen it so many times, they will literally tell people. The sheep will listen to it like a deer in headlights and go back to the other 99 lies. So thank you guys for joining me today. Just a quick news update on, on some things I've noticed over the week. If you guys would like to support me, you can check out frank-stefano.com as well as dropping a like on the video, leaving a comment down below, subscribing so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Honestly, guys, I thought I could have bought a Russian girl by now, but all those Russian mail-order bride websites are actually a bunch of dudes in wigs. And it looks like I might have to put on a pair of stilts and go over to Brighton Beach, but I'm not sure how well that's going to turn out. Uh, thanks again for joining, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow.